is Tyler G. Brown. So here we go. The opening draw in the first 20 minutes of hockey on OHL Primetime. From the blue line, that one's broken up. At the point, shot deflected in front. But it was going the wrong way, but it was deflected just wide. They score! From the side, the Plymouth Whalers jump out to a 1-0 lead. And Tyler Brown will get the goal. You talked about it off the top of the broadcast, partner, the importance for the Plymouth Whalers. But they can skate with any team in the OHL, and they get off to a fantastic start here as Tyler Brown, the beneficiary in front of the net. We saw this last Sunday, Doug, against the Guelph Storm, especially in the second period. A little bit into the third as well. Some sloppy defensive zone coverage. Hodgson holds onto it and scores! Cody Hodgson ties the game at one. That is what they call a goal scorer's goal. And another one from Cody Hodgson. Coming off the hat trick Sunday against the Guelph Storm. Cody Hodgson taking that hot streak into this game here against Plymouth and he quickly gets the battalion even on back on even terms at one nice patience in front of the net waiting for Jeremy Smith to go down and slides it under him Cooper jumps on top of the loose puck again Cooper turnaround shot that's blocked out in front they score what a deflection from Patrick Lee on the doorstep as no defender took Lee he goes top shelf beating Brenton in foot it's 2-1 for the Plymouth Whalers the battalion seemed to be just get caught a little flat-footed there on their own end. Everybody was just standing around. And a real nice tip. Here's where it starts right here. He just turns around, looks to keep the puck in, but a real sharp tip in front of the net. Kyle Pereira just could not stay with Lee. Real nice tip in front. Lives up. Goes after it. They try the far side. Kept in at the blue line by Albert. And then has to backpedal. He's knocked down. And it's broken up. Back the other way comes Gaynor. He lets it fly and scores. You got to believe that was deflected off the stick of Cameron Wind by Brandon Foote. 3-1. The Whalers lead it. I think I agree totally, Doug. That puck definitely took a different direction on Brandon Foote. He just didn't see it. We see Brad Albert there. I just think simply he just blew a tire. He fell down, couldn't regain his balance. And down the wing, Joe Gaynor lets it rip and definitely went off the stick of Cameron Wynn as they take a 3-1 to one lead. Another... Breaks the stick on the shot. They throw it back for Hodgson. Project back on the ice. In front, two battalion players squeak at home. Matthew Shane gets the power play goal. It's a 3-2 lead for the Whalers. Great response from the battalion and the right idea. We had talked about it just a few minutes ago that maybe Coach Stan Butler is telling his troops, let's get the puck low, let's generate some rebounds, some deflections, what have you, and they did that there on this power play goal. Rebound from Jeremy Smith and Matthew Shane there with the backhander, and he just squeaks it by Jeremy Smith. But I was going to say prior to that, great work from the Plymouth Whalers from Bemis and Mikel Jordan. They were doing a nice job blocking shots, getting rid of loose pucks in front. Credit to the... Weak wrist shot, blocked, and it goes into the corner. That out in front. Hodgson takes away. Wrist shot from Hodgson. He scores! Oh, my, what a howitzer of a wrist shot from Tony Hodgson to tie the game. Just jump on the captain's back and let's go, partner. Cody Hodgson, who ignited that whole comeback with the Guelph Storm last week when the team was down 3-1, down 3-1 tonight. He gets the assist on the power play goal from Matt Duchesne, and he comes back with an absolutely wicked wrist shot reminiscent of the overtime winner he scored against Guelph last Sunday. But absolutely terrific shot upstairs. No chance for Jeremy Smith. Cody Hodgson ripping it up. Herrera lugging it deep. Hangs on to it. Pereira back for Duchesne. Stick handles his way through traffic. Duchesne to the back end. Out in front. They score! And Jenny Grodjev gives the battalion another power play goal and a 4-3 lead. Yeah, Jenny Grodjev gets the easy backhander in front of the net. Just credit number nine of the home side, Matt Duchesne. Beautiful moves in tight, not a lot of room to operate. Look at Duchesne, the hands 
keeping control of that puck. And a slick little pass. It gets intercepted, unfortunately, for the Plymouth Whalers. The pass gets tipped and goes under the pad of Jeremy Smith and Jenny Grouch is there for the tap-in. But nonetheless, fantastic work in front from Matt Duchesne with not a lot of room to operate. Hodgson has Stajan with them. Dale joining the attack. Back for Hodgson out in front. He scores! Cody Hodgson finishes off the hat trick with yet another blazing wrist shot. It's 5-3. Woo. Cody Hodgson picked up a hat trick last Sunday against the Guelph Storton, including the overtime winner. He said, hey, I'm hungry for seconds. I'm coming back for yet his second consecutive hat trick. Throw in an assist as well for Cody. How about 13 points in his last four games? Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Jeremy Smith. Well, how about this for Cody Hodgson? Here's his stat. Cody Hodgson right now coming into this game, into this game, was 1.44 points per game. Not a bad. Brown throws it out in front. Jenks can't get to it. That one's taken away. Brown shot, he scores! So talk about making the most of your shots on net. That's the fourth goal on 11 shots for the Plymouth Whalers. And it's Tyler G. Brown in front of the net and what has really been hampering the battalion all night tonight. Sloppy play in their own end, turnovers. And they get caught running around again. The puck was bouncing around. And the Plymouth Whalers get a chance and Tyler Brown basically on a bat. Mikhail Jordan let the wrist shot go. Hodgson in a foot race. He's by Steingrober, right to the front of the net. Scores! Matt Duchesne makes it 6-4. A shorthanded goal for the battalion. Gorgeous move by Matt Duchesne. He just flat out beat his man here with his speed. In on Jeremy Smith. Great patience to wait for the five hole to open up and Matt Duchesne making absolutely no mistake on the Plymouth net miner. There it is right there. Gorgeous move, gorgeous goal. Matt Duchesne picking up the battalion's fourth shorthanded goal of the season and that's his. Duchesne behind the net. Throws it back up top. Pair off shot. Scores! Battalion go up 7-4. That was what you call a seeing eye goal. Threw a maze of legs in front of Jeremy Smith. No well, credit to Ken Peroff. Kept the shot low. The battalion getting some bodies in front. And no question on a seeing eye shot from Ken Peroff. But he lets it rip from the blue line. And the battalion have done this so well during the winning streak. Keep the puck low, getting the screens in front of the net and the traffic. Battalion take a three-goal lead, now up 7-4. Hansky with him, Hodgson. Stick handles his way around Brown, pulls it out in front. Backhand shot right on. Smith makes the save. Smith has lost his stick. Cody Hodgson scores! Fourth goal of the game for Cody Hodgson. Fourth goal of the game for number 19 and give him seven, seven goals in the past two games. Absolutely unheard of. A five-point night for number 19. And you had made the suggestion Jeremy Smith lost his stick and nobody on the Plymouth Whalers. Well, watch. Bemis tries to give him the stick and then he has to get back out in I front. just thought that Bemis just, he kind of waited too long, a little bit of indecision there. He kind of looked back, and you're right, by the time he had realized that, hey, i got to give my stick back. Well, here comes Cody Hodgson in on. Cleared through the center ice area, and that'll do it. The battalion keep the streak alive with a big 8-4 victory over the Plymouth Whalers. Two huge nights, one from Cody Hodgson and one from Matt Duchesne. Yeah, the, the, that duo deadly combining for nine points. Cody Hodgson, a four-goal effort, and they keep it rolling down three to one. They come back to outscore the Plymouth Whalers seven to one the rest of the way. Real, real solid victory for the battalion here tonight. Eight to four, make it nine straight wins, and now they have sole possession of first place, first place in the Central Division. We're coming back with more of OHL primetime. Our wrap-up is next. Eight for the battalion win it on home ice and extend the winning streak to nine. We're coming back with more. Stay with us on Rogers TV.